Hey everybody, um, this is Mr. Mathblog. This is Writing Two-Step Inequality. So this is um, a pretty quick lesson here. Here's our common core strand. So very similar. How do we write a two-step inequality? So so here's uh, how to interpret words with inequality. So you're, we're going to see several examples of, let me grab, uh, let me grab a little one of these here. Okay, sorry. Mm -mm, I thought I had everything right there. So um, uh, we're going to see uh, phrases that involve less than or greater than. This is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Let's start over here, less than. So if we see phrases like this, is less than, obviously, we'll use that symbol. Fewer than, we'll use that. Is greater than, uh, would be a greater than symbol or more than. Okay, these ones here, at most, at most would be less than or equal to. No greater than is less than or equal to or no more than, less than or equal to. So at least would be greater than or equal to. Um, so I'm at least 50, which means I'm 50 years or older. I'm older. So anyways, or no less than, okay? I'm no less than 50 years old. Okay, that makes sense, I think. So here we're going to use algebra tiles to model a two-step inequality. So um, let's use algebra tiles to model 2k plus 5 greater than or equal to negative 3. So <clears throat> these are our positive variables. So since there's two k's, we'll do two of these. Plus 5, we're going to be doing two of these guys right here. And greater than or equal to, we're going to put that right inside of here. So it's no longer equals bar. It's going to be greater than or equal to. Okay. And then uh, here we're going to plug in negative of those guys right there. So uh, if we just do that, we're just going to go, here's my 1K. Here's my 2K plus 5. We're going to add 5 of these right here. 2, 3, 4, 5. And then for the minus 3 on the right hand side, I'm not down, we'll do the minus 3 over there. So something like, like uh, that right there. Okay. All right. So uh, here we're going to write two step inequality. So a mountain climbing team is camping at an altitude of 18,460 feet on Mount Everest. The team wants to reach 29,000 and 20 foot summit within six days. So write an inequality to find the average number of feet per day the team must climb to accomplish its uh, objective. Well, remember, they started out, we're starting it out at, at the 18,460, so that's the starting altitude. Okay, and then we're going to add the number of days times the altitude gain, so um, that's going to be greater than or equal to, because we want it to be greater than or equal to their their goal of 29,020. That's their target altitude. Okay, so the starting altitude is 18,460. Number of days, we have six days times the altitude that we're going to do each day. And we want that to be at least or greater than or equal to the 29,029. So our inequality, and it's not asking us to solve, that's in the next lesson. That's our answer right there, 18,460 plus 6D greater than or equal to 29,029. Okay, um, and that's all we're doing. So here we have the 45 member of a math, math club are trying to raise $6,000 so they can compete in the state competition. They already have $1,240. What inequality can we write to, to find the amount that each member must raise on average to meet that goal? Okay, so the goal is uh, $6,000, and, and they can get more than that, so it's going to be greater than or equal to $6,000. Okay, and they already have this much in there, so if it's going to be 45 members and, and each person is going to raise the same, it's going to be this number plus 45 times our variable. I don't know if I did X or G for whatever that has to be greater than or equal to that to reach our goal. Uh, I did A. Why did I do A? I don't know. Uh, I should have done M or something. Anyways, or X or H or whatever letter you want to use, variable that you want to use. So anyways, let's do number four. Ella has $40 to spend at the state fair. That mission costs $6 each uh, for each ride. I'm sorry, mission is $6 and each ride is $3. Ride an inequality to find the greatest number of rides she can go on. Okay, so she has 40 bucks. She can't spend more than that, so it's going to be something less than or equal to 40. 
So six bucks, that's going to be included in that. And then the three per ride right there. So something like that. Okay. So uh, the six buck entry fee plus three dollars a ride has to be less than or equal to 40. Okay. And that will give us a good inequality that represents that. We can also write a verbal description to fit a two-step inequality. So here we go. Write a corresponding real-world problem representing 2x plus 20 less than or equal to 50. Okay, there's infinitely many correct ways to do this, you guys. So here's a couple of situations where x is multiplied by 2. I like using money. Okay, so um, we'll do that in the next one. So um, uh, you run x miles per day for two days. Or you buy two items each that cost X dollars. Okay, so somehow we have to add this 20 into the expression or into the inequality. It has to be less than or equal to or at most. Okay, or um, uh, and, yeah, it, those kind of words and, and then make it less than or equal to 50. So something, here's a couple of situations. So here's one. Thomas has to run 20 miles uh, so far this week. If he were, uh, Thomas has ran, sorry, 20 miles so far this week. If he wants to run 50 miles or less, how many miles on average should he run in the next two days to meet uh, his weekly goals? Okay, so here's his 20 miles that he already ran, and he has two days to run something to make it uh, less than or equal to 50. Okay, so that's why it says to run 50 miles or less, so we're including the 50 right here. All right. Let's do the money card uh, right here. So, so here's another one. Manny uh, buys two work shirts that each cost X dollars. Okay, after using uh, twenty dollar gift cards, he can spend no more than fifty bucks. Okay, what's what's the max he can spend on that? All right, and your textbook asks us to do the same thing right here. Okay, so here this is three three dollars or whatever three something and then we're gonna the 10 is like uh, the admission fee or or um, how many miles he already ran and he wants to divide it up so here I did something like this so John wants to save money he already has ten dollars so he's saving money he already has ten dollars if he wants to have uh, more than here's my more than thirty dollars right there how much does he have to save each week for the next three weeks that's why that's there okay something over here so I have uh, something like this for a meeting Russ made a hundred cookies he noticed his dog Sammy ate 50 cookies golly Sammy that bad girl Sammy uh, ate 50 cookies before the meeting if there are five people at the meeting how many people can each have okay so here's a hundred cookies that uh, Russ made and Sammy ate 50 before the meeting so there's 50 left how many can each person have so they don't have to eat them all but um, uh, if they're going to eat them on average so it would be that equation right there okay I hope that makes sense and take care